Recently, we received some mysterious leaks and good news about Fatui's, which give a great info about their release dates and banners. Today, we'll be discussing about Pulcinella and Columbina's comeback, including new rerun leaks and talks about anime. This video is important for those who are planning to save on Fatui's and their favorite characters. So, if you don't want to waste an opportunity, make sure to watch until the end. Before diving into main topic, I've announced a 5 Welkins giveaway after we reach 21k subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed. So first, let's begin with the Harbingers, Columbina and Pulcinella. After a disappointing leak of Columbina not being in Natlan, according to sources like Kitaro, Columbina is in Sneznaya. Damn, better late than never. According to him, Columbina is supposed to be an extremely powerful necromancer, which means a powerful sorcerer who's capable of bringing back the dead. She's also in charge of a place which appears to be a mix between a botanical garden and a zoo. Whoa, this is gonna be interesting. Although Columbina is late, this is really good news. Now I'm feeling a little bit relieved. And moving on to Pulcinella, our short king. According to Kitaro, he's supposed to be an electro catalyst user. Now, he's confident about the element affiliation but does have a doubt about his playability. I mean, just imagine a short Fatui running around and defeating enemies. Not gonna lie, it does sound funny. But hey, even if there's a small chance of Pulcinella becoming playable, I'd love to play with him all day. So, for me, it's a good news, but what do you guys think about this? Comment below. Now, moving on to recent banner changes. For 5.1, it's only one new character and not even a 4 star. The 5 star is Jilonen and her drip marketing will be soon. Now, on to a short info about 5.2 banners. According to recent leaks, we're getting two new characters in 5.2, one 5 and one 4 star. So the 5 star is Shaska and it's been confirmed by many sources. She's an Animo bow user and her vision was officially shown in the trailer. As for the 4 star, Iris claims it's Ororon and given his reputation as a new source, I would say take this with a grain of salt. And finally, ending this video with Genshin's anime anime news, well, recent leaks convey that it's going to take a lot of time. They say the anime is not even started on a pre-production level, so indeed it will take a lot of time. I mean, now I think that they're gonna release this anime near the end of Sneznaya. Hey, by the way, did you see Ajo's transformation in latest Kinit's trailer? So do comment which character you're saving and summoning. Thanks for watching, see you all in the next video, until then stay safe and stay picky.